Hello FCS parents. It is another great week here at Fairfield Christian School and we've got a lot going on. Uh, usually this time of year is a little bit of slow. It's kind of the dead part of the year really. Uh, but for whatever reason this year we've got all kinds of things going on. And it's a great thing. Keeps us motivated, keeps us focused, keeps us moving forward. Uh, we This week in particular uh, has been great. We've had some visitors here on campus. Your kids may have told you about maybe some uh, teachers that have been observing in the classroom. It's because we've had several teachers from China observing our classes this week. Uh, and I can tell you, they have learned a lot. In China, they do school very differently than, especially the, we, the way we do here at Fairfield Christian School. So they've had a lot of questions for me. Uh, all these teachers have graduated university and they want to be teachers. And so they're looking to expand their horizons. They want to expand their strategies and their skill sets in terms of how they relate to kids. So that's one of the reasons they're here at Fairfield Christian School, because we do school a little bit differently even, even than the public schools here. So they're here to observe. And I can tell you every day after school, they're in my office asking me a million questions, uh, which has been great. Uh, most of them have been academic questions about why we do things the way that we do. Uh, but I've also got some interesting questions about uh, introducing Jesus Christ into the classroom, the Bible, things like that. Uh, they're both curious and very hesitant about it as well. Uh, I can tell you I've had some very interesting conversations this week. But it's great to have them here and it's great to be able to share what we do and to share and model the life of Christ and the love of Christ uh, with these uh, teachers that are here. In addition to that, we do have some Chinese students coming to our campus in April. Uh, several, a lot, quite a few students and actually about three teachers and uh, I'm looking forward to their visit as well. Again, it's a chance to model the love of Christ to people who come from a country that Christianity is not very predominant. So it's a great chance to influence them, to speak to them, to introduce them to Jesus Christ. Uh, and part of that is we're gonna be hosting them in our homes. So I know many of you have already reached out to me and told me that you'd open up your home, and that is fantastic. Thank you for all of you that have done that so far. I could probably use a couple more host families. So uh, please pray about it, but please pray quickly, because I need to know as soon as possible. Uh, we're already sending information uh, to the Chinese organization so that they can uh, make sure they verify stuff. They just wanna make sure that we have safe, clean homes that these kids are going to be staying in. I know if I were sending my third grader halfway around the world to stay in a stranger's home, I'd want to make sure it was a nice, safe place. I don't know if I could send my third grader unaccompanied uh, by me or my wife halfway around the world, but that's a whole other story. But the fact that these kids are so young, third graders and fifth graders, uh, we obviously want to have a, a great place for them to stay, a place where they feel comfortable and supported and loved while they're in somebody's home for several days. So again, if you can, I, I do need a couple more host families. Uh, please let me know and I'll uh, get you all the information you need uh, in terms of moving forward from here. But I do need that very quickly. They want to get all the information in, hopefully by the end of this week. Okay, and that, by the way, is in April. Uh, the kids will be staying at the host families April 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then they'll be here at the school visiting. They'll take some tours around the, uh, the, the area, like go to Jelly Belly and uh, a couple ranches and things like that. So they'll do some things around town here as well. All right, next week is our 7th through 12th grade retreats. I know the kids are really looking forward to it. We're going to go down to Monterey, going to the aquarium, uh, going to go to uh, Monterey Bay Christian Center. Uh, Pastor James Alexander is going to be speaking to the kids on Thursday night. The kids love him. He's spoken several times at our chapels. He's ex actually spoken at one of our retreats previously. Obviously, we're going to be at Pastor Jason's church, so they get a chance to see Pastor Jason. He'll be able to interact with the kid. For those of you who don't know, Pastor Jason is the one that founded Fairfield Christian School, so it'll be great to be with him. And Mr. Voice is down there as well, so they, they'll get lots of interaction with people that they know, and they're going to be able to feed into them all the, all the good stuff they need in order to propel them forward uh, through the rest of this school year. And by the way, this, treat, this retreat, while we are going to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, there's some uh, academic a uh, application here. Uh, the focus of it is a spiritual focus. We want these kids to get away from home, get away from all the other things that are going on in their life, and to spend just a couple days focused on what God wants to do in their life. So that's why we do these retreats. Then the week after that, the elementary kids are going to the Oakland Zoo. I know they're going to have a great time. Oh, let me back up one second. The retreats, I need permission slips and money by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the deadline. And I know uh, there's still a lot of kids that have not turned in either uh, their, their money or their permission slip, some of them both. So I need those in by tomorrow. We, there's a lot of planning we need to do uh, going into next week. So I need those uh, uh, by the end of day tomorrow. Now fast forward to the Oakland Zoo. On the 21st, the kids are going to have a great time going to the Oakland Zoo. I know everything's taken care of there in terms of permission slips and money, things like that. So it's going to be great. Uh, I know you guys are going to have a great time heading to the zoo and learning about all the animals and all that kind of stuff down there. Uh, 
As you know, as we've talked a lot about, as you've probably got lots of communication about, our Mary Poppins production is coming up on May 4th, and we're doing all the preparations right now for all that. Kids are practicing their songs and their lines, and we've got kids building sets. It's fantastic. Uh, I do have a few things I want to request from you as parents, though. Uh, we do still do need some parents to sign up to be volunteers uh, for all sorts of things, for the practices, uh, for the night of the performance. Uh, but uh, Ms. Strick Mrs. Strickland and Miss Viana uh, have those lists, and if you'd like to volunteer in any way, you can earn fish hours for that, please make sure you contact Mrs. Strickland or Miss Fiona and they'll get you hooked up. We do need some more parent volunteers. Um, we also need a few donations. First of all, we're doing a silent auction that night as part of our fundraiser. So if you could go around town, if you know some businesses that would like to donate things to us, uh, go and ask. Uh, many times I've gone to businesses I didn't even expect things from, and you just simply ask, and a lot of companies like to donate especially because we're a nonprofit and they can get a tax deduction for that. Uh, we've gotten all kinds of crazy stuff from various businesses. So if you can help us out, go around town, go around the area, ask businesses if they like to donate to our silent auction uh, for our fundraising here at Fairfield Christian School. Uh, we do have a federal tax ID number we can give them for, uh, they can get a little tax deduction for that. Uh, please help us out in that way. And then uh, if you'd be so inclined, we'd love to get some donations for building our sets. We need some lumber, some things like that for the things that we're building. And the best way to do that would be, give, be to give us uh, a Lowe's card. Now, specifically Lowe's because we can get a discount at Lowe's. So if you'd like to donate uh, towards that, uh, we would uh, greatly appreciate any sort of, sort of donation we could take towards uh, lumber and uh, construction materials to help construct our sets. The kids are doing a great job. Like I said, they've been doing a lot of painting out here on Tuesday afternoons. That's when they meet, when they meet to get the props and the sets and things uh, kind of built and put together. Uh, and I, all the kids are doing great in terms of getting those things together. And speaking of the Mary Poppins production, uh, tickets for the VIP section go on sale on Monday. Those are gonna be $30 and there are only 80 of them. Only 80. And last year they did sell out. Um, so if you'd like a VIP ticket, $30 go on sale on Monday. Now with the VIP ticket, uh, you get the seats closest to the stage. You actually also get early entry and we feed you dinner. On top of that, we'll have some entertainment for you there as well. So I, I know everybody that came last year to our uh, to the VIP uh, portion of our production uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna do it just as well again this year. And again, they did sell out last year. So if you'd like a VIP ticket, you'll wanna get those as soon as possible. $30, uh, it's going on sale on Monday. All right, and the general admission will, will go on sale at a later date, but we'll have plenty of seats for the, for the general admission tickets. All right, hope you guys have a fantastic week. Like I said, there's a lot going on right now. There's even more than that, because you know in the classrooms, kids are doing individual things, individual teachers are doing various things, and as a school, we want to keep these kids motivated, we want to keep them focused, we want to keep them engaged with their work and help them to move forward, so we always have a lot of things going on, but this time of year in particular, especially as you head towards the end, uh, we got a lot of things going on, so we just want to help you guys keep all that stuff straight. And by the way, we can't do any of this without your support. We can't do any of this alone. So thank you, all of you that have supported us, whether you're parents, whether you're pastors, you're part of a church that supports us. Uh, thank you for all of your efforts uh, to help support us here at Fairfield Christian School. Uh, as a community, as a body of Christ, we all need to come together, especially, specifically for these kids. We need to rally around them, make sure they're not just academically educated, but make sure they understand the love of Christ, uh, understand the promises God has made to his people, so that as they go out into the world, which does not recognize the love of Christ and does not recognize the promises of God, as they go out into the world, they can help spread that and they can be the light that shines. And hopefully, uh, through that light, helps to bring others to know Jesus Christ as well. But again, it's all the support from everyone, all of our stakeholders, whether uh, you're in a church, whether you're a parent, uh, anybody who's involved with our school, we just greatly appreciate all the support that you guys give us here at Fairfield Christian School. Again, have a great week. Hope to see you guys real soon. God bless.